The head is a very small part of the overall silhouette. So do helmets actually make a difference? Well, the clue is in the smoke. We discussed the term drag in a previous piece, and crudely speaking, that's what it is, a force dragging you backwards. As you can see from the smoke trail, once the air starts to swirl or turn turbulent, it spreads out, like a ship's wake. And this is the bit that sucks on the object, slowing forward motion. Despite its size, because of that wake effect, the helmet produces a lot of turbulence and so has a bigger effect on overall performance than you might think. Hence the current trend, a rather simplistic one, to cover up these holes to try and minimise the damage. It's not a new concept. I know it goes back to at least 2000, but it didn't catch on with the road fraternity until Mark Cavendish and the GB team used covered helmets as part of their strategy to win the 2011 World Road Title. The main reason it didn't become standard practice is because people didn't use facilities like this to simply ask the question, what's it actually worth? Well, that's what we're gonna do right now. By simply covering these ventilation holes and smoothing the shape a bit, Ned actually dropped his drag by 5%. I'll leave you to ponder the performance implications of that. Well, I said at the start of our little journey into aerodynamics that cycling is a sport steeped in tradition. Well, nowhere is that more obvious than with this type of headgear. This, for example, is even more aerodynamic than the helmet that we've just tested, and it's also legal in a mass start road race. So you can wear, so according to the rules, you can wear either of these on a normal stage of the Tour de France. Yes. And that one's even better than that one. Yes. So why doesn't everyone wear them? Tradition. It's not a new problem. Remember Greg LeMond arriving in Paris with his triathlon bars and pointy helmet versus Laurent Fignon with his ponytail flowing in the wind. He lost the tour by eight seconds. It was a step change moment as it takes real courage to set aside long forged beliefs and do something totally new. So I'm wondering who's going to be the first team to lead their sprinter onto the Champs Elysees or wearing these. I think it'll be Sour Soldier Son. No. Can I ask you one more question, Chris? Yes. Why did you get me to shave my legs? Just want to see if you do it. <laughs> 